I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Pastoral Care by St. Paul. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Did you hear something, buddy? You're busy sleeping. I'm gonna throw that treat with no other purpose other than you to just look up. Get the app. It's on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, Roku, and Apple TV. And donate your tax-deductible gift. HigherThings.org in the description link keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. Our Bible study Last day on Philemon takes us to Philemon 21 and 22. Let's take a look at it. Um, that's a perfect. Um, being convinced of this, being um, confident of, 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 of what? Your obedience, your hearing over. I write to you, knowing that you will who pair, you will do um, over and above what I say for you to do. Hama. Nevertheless, or in addition to this, though, um, uh, 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 get ready uh, the guest room for me. For I hope through your prayers uh, to be graciously given to, to you. This is pastoral care, St. Paul style. And it goes like this. Remember that in the, le the letter of Philemon is a letter from Paul to Philemon concerning Onesimus. All right, so Paul receives Onesimus, a runaway slave, preaches the gospel to him, begets him in chains. He becomes his son in the gospel. Um, and, uh, but because of, you know, everything being in proper order in the law of the land, Paul has to send Onesimus back to Philemon. And he sends Phile uh, Onesimus back with this letter. He was useless to you. That's what Onesimus' name means, Philemon. He was useless to you, but now he is both useful to me and you in the Lord. And I ask you to receive him, not as a slave, because, you know, Christianity really isn't pro-slavery. It's pro-relationship. It's pro Love, it's pro-forgiveness. So receive him, not as a slave, but as a brother, as a fellow worker in the gospel. And whatever he owes you, I'll pay it. Not that I don't owe you my very life, which was last week's Thursday video short. And so now he says, look, I am confident, I am convinced that you are going to do more than I could ever, 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 ever even ask. And this is true. This is pastoral care. First, you let people do good works. You don't command them to do it. You, you, you tell them what needs to be done and you let them do it. Let them do the good works without being commanded. Don't steal from them the good work. That's the way pastors are. So if you're mad at your pastor for not telling you what to do in a given situation, it's because he doesn't want to cheat you of the opportunity to do a good work. And he knows that you're going to do better than he could possibly come up with on his own. More than and above what he wants. And that's the gospel. But just in case, just in case that you need a little law, there's some law there if you need it. And that's the business of, you know, just let me, let me I'm going to come by and I'm going to just check to see how this is going for you. If I find that Onesimus has been handed over to the authorities, so there is gospel and expecting the good work and, 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 and not wanting to cheat the good work, and then there's a little law. Oh, I'm coming to check to see how you're getting along. And that is amazing pastoral care found in a letter that nobody reads in a hidden way right before the book of Revelation. We're going to finish it up here and then we're going to 
cut next week. Uh, everybody's got to say goodbye. Epphirus, my fellows, prisoner in Christ Jesus, sends greetings to you. And so does Mark, uh, Aristarchus, Damas, and Luke, my fellow worker. And of course, we got to end on the gospel. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, Pastor. I'm Pastor George Borkart. What excellent pastoral care that is. Don't be cheated of the good work. You're going to do better than your pastor ever wanted, but he's going to check just to see if you are naughty or nice. I'm Pastor Morgan, and this has been another Higher Things video short.